So Zilonen's character teaser just dropped the duty of name foraging. And the most that we know about Zilonen is that she is a blacksmith. She is in charge of ancient names. If I remember correctly, Malvika said that she would ask her to possibly forge us an ancient name. Um, she is part of the Children of Echoes. And she is Geo. And she seems to have a lot of cat-like um, characteristics to her. Other than that, we don't know too much about her, but she is a widely anticipated character because of two things. One, I think she is the first mommy-esque character coming out of Natlin. And two, she is, I think, one of the first supports. Kenich, Mualani, and... Uh, Kachina all kind of work as DPSs. She might actually be the first support that's coming out. And supports are a little bit harder to come by currently in Natlin, so that's probably why she's anticipated as well. But let's see what's going on with her character teaser. Ancient names. Oh, we're in English. Okay. Generational legacy. I really hope that means that they. They signed the entry contract and or something like that. Heroes. Behind every echo, a timeless victory. Every canopy. Oh, is that an unseen conflict? Oh, I thought that was a blob. I didn't realize that was one of the um, the little guys. And every spring, a heated battle. I really love this art style, and I need them to bring it back more. <laughs> Damn, that eyeshadow is so glittery. History can change. The slightest distortion poisons our legacy. <laughs> Everyone wants well. Who is this? <laughs> Power means you never yield. Protect others at your peril. Oh, are these our like past ancient names that kind of failed? Legacy and true history. With the blood of this land, a hero is engraved in stone. Their legacy, immortal in this name. This blessing, forged in flame. Luangozo is complete. Ooh. So that's a new name that we haven't gotten yet. I feel like a lot of people are going to assume that this is going to be the Travelers. Oh my god. Yes, Traveler. I was about to say Trailblazer. That's not the right game. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to assume that this is going to be the Travelers ancient name. I have a hot take. I feel like it's going to be part of her Children of Echo story. I don't think it's going to be part of the Travelers story just yet. Especially because next patch is going to be chapter 3 and 4, which is a lot of the build-up towards chapter 5. I feel like it would be more impactful for us to get our ancient name at the very last moment. Because Genshin loves their deus ex machina. I wonder if our ancient name will be that deus ex machina. Rather than having it established in 3 and 4 so that we get the pyro element. I don't know if we're getting our power element in Act 3 or 4 because it's never said. Okay, after looking into it further, it seems like Mwangozo means guide or guidance in Swahili, which is interesting if that m is given to the Traveler. Because are we really guiding anyone? It feels more like we've just been led along this entire story so far. It, we're... Again, as seen from the summer event that kind of like air quotes predicts or like lays out the entire plot in Natlin, it's seeming more and more like we are kind of a, just a passive observer in a lot of people's story. As much as we lend power to a lot of these Natlin characters, we're not exactly guiding anyone. Would be really funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is what would happen. But what if <laughs> what if the ancient name was given to Paimon? <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't get an ancient name. Paimon gets it instead because I don't know, she's more worthy or like there's some Paimon lore. I would love it if that meant that we get Paimon lore in general, but I highly doubt they would actually do that to her. But who knows? We'll just have to see. But what do you guys think? Will you be pulling Zelanen? Who do you think is going to get the ancient name that she just carved out? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all those YouTube things that they require me to do because that's the only way that things happen around here, apparently. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!